Okay. Any other dreams? This is a rare event, only one? God, okay. Well, let me play then. All right. Thank you. Now, this is going to be very difficult. Uh, therefore, it's going to take some practice. Can you relax and just count to yourself? One to ten. And go over it slowly again and again, and I'm going to interrupt and ask you some questions. All right, now, it's very difficult because many of you don't have the experience of counting to one to ten. <laughs> But try. Okay, try. It's good if you keep your, either your choice, keeping your eyes open or closed or in between, your choice. Now, as you are looking, see if you can see where the numbers are coming from. as you are looking at the numbers, where do they go? They appear and then they go. Where do they come and go? As you watch the numbers coming and going, what's doing the counting? Can you see? Can you experience? Try to be more attentive. It's your experience. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Be attentive now. You're watching the numbers coming and going. Where do they come from? Can you spot where they come from?
Does one come, does the other disappear at that moment? Where does it go? Where do the numbers come from? Where do they go? Now be attentive. Right? Watch now. You were watching the numbers coming and going. What is watching? Are you just hearing them, or do you visualize them? Do you do both? But what's watching? Please describe it. Is there something there watching? <coughs> Take a look. The numbers are coming and going. What's watching? Where do the numbers come from? Where do they go? What produces the numbers? Can you see? Are you producing them? Did you make them? Did you fabricate them or do they just come? Do they come as a whole or in part? Take a good look and while you're looking, Describe what's watching. break now. What did you find? Come on. What was it like? Come on. What was it like? It was like it was um, in parts, but it, it disappeared, but you knew it was still there. But it, it, they disappeared? Yeah, they disappeared, but you knew well, it was how, still Where did they go? They didn't go anywhere. <laughs> they don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, where did they come from? From like from your thoughts? Look here. Say it again. They came from? My thoughts. Watch now. Is that your experiencing or is that interpreting? Did she watch them coming by her thoughts? Did you see them coming by with your thought? Yeah, it was like moving from left to right. 
Yeah, we're wondering whether the words you're using matches your experience. That's what we're doing, see. So. Mm. Here. <laughs> what do you see? Um, mine were more like an infinite loop. What? Infinite loop. Like they would come, but you, like she was saying, you, they would come and you would know they're there, and then they would go like in a, I don't know how you say that. What was watching? Um, yeah, I'll. I want to say, um, I'm going to go on here and say the self. What <laughs> mark did it have? Huh? What marks did it have? I, so uh, you yeah, could recognize it. Uh, no, can't say anything. None? No, it, uh, What makes you think it's the self then? Um. Could you be mistaken? Something told me that it was the self, but I don't know, maybe inside I have no idea. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, Father. Um, I didn't have any fortune, any good luck with either question. Yeah. It's hard to say. Or Ooh. any of the three. Where do they come from? Where do they go? What's yeah. watching? No success. No luck. No boy. No, it just, what happened then? Yeah. Um, I had less distraction, and it seemed. That's true. Very less clear. distraction very clear, but when I ask the question, where do they come from, where do they go? Because I could, they could come from anywhere. Like if I yeah. wanted to, they could come from over here, or I mean, yeah. internally, right, left, up, down, yeah. you know, so the lo didn't, location meant nothing. <coughs> yeah, okay, would you describe then what was watching so I can write ah. it on the board? Yeah. Uh, luminosity was the only thing I came up with. And, what? and it did seem to be a quality of what was watching. Luminosity. Did you see luminosity watching? Yeah. Good question. Yeah. I don't know. My immediate instinct is to say no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had, it reminded me, I had a similar dream. Like it reminded you of a dream. Yeah. That's dangerous. Go ahead. <laughs> because, come on, because. The dream was that I dreamt that I was part of this universe. Are you universe. suggesting you don't know where dreams come, come from either? Well, in the, uh, well, no, I don't know where the dreams come from. Hmm. But in my dream, I felt like I was part of this speck in the universe, but I felt everything going on at the same time. All at once. Well, then just describe what oh. was what was watching it. <laughs> I don't know what was watching it. I couldn't tell. I'm not getting anywhere. Sir, sir would you mind helping, sir? Yeah. I can't. I don't know how to do What? I, don't, I can't help. All right. I, I can only... I just saw black and white with like a circle that was light. And then I couldn't always see the numbers, but the numbers were like looping through the bottom and um, kind of coming and going. And then when you asked the question, what was watching, I felt, I felt like the depth of the black and white and the circle, I just felt like there was a depth from inside. So uh, how can that I be watching? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, 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 right. Now, Gary, like, okay. help out. Help out. What was watching? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was more like a, like a black box theater. A black a theater? box. Uh, so just a... Uh, Darkness. Psychologists always talk about that black box. Go ahead. Uh, and the numbers, uh, there, there wasn't really anything watching. Um, it, was the, it was what I could see. It was what I could, I could see numbers, but there wasn't a defined body watching the numbers. 
But, by the way, you were aware of there was something going on. I was aware of the numbers illuminating on the calendar. I was aware of the numbers. We're wondering what the I is. Yeah. It, was, uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't defined in space. It was, it was just what I was uh, conjuring based on your exercise. Yeah, I'll get some help. John? Would, it, would it change things if you asked... Uh, who, who I don't is know. Watching? Instead of what was watching. Ask what? Who is watching? Well, see, the difficulty with who is that assumes it's a personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you easy. want to use that, then you have to say or describe what kind of personality is associated with the watcher. Mm-hmm. And it, it's okay to do that, but then we would ask you to describe that person, the who. Look, would you like to get a better answer? Oh, okay, go ahead. I'll settle for that yeah, one now. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What was watching? Josh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is very puzzling. Because I, I don't, the watching part itself seems to only be happen upon reflection. Like, it was like, oh, there was something watching. And I was like, oh, wait, what was that? I don't know. Look. I saw something. There was something to see in there. See, yes, go ahead. One last one. Go ahead. A mass of focus. What? A mass of focus was watching. A mass of what? Focus. Focus. A mass of focus? Focus. How can it be a mass of focus? Doesn't focus. A big eye. Maybe it's a big eyeball. Oh, okay, okay. Don't ask me how big the mass was. No. <laughs> what was watching it? What was what was watching it? What was watching the mass? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. But if you ask me what distinctive characteristic it has, I would say seeing. What is the cell? But has? did you see that it was seeing? No, no, no. I uh, can't this. use it then. <laughs> Look, the trouble you're having is that you just don't have enough experience in this. So let's do it again, only this time, you know, be a little more precise. Right. Okay, here we go. You're watching the numbers. Now you want to be more precise. You want to be able to describe what it is you're experiencing. Because, after all, it is your experience. You ought to know what's going on. Or should you? Where do the numbers come from? Where do they go? As they come and go, can you turn around and see what's watching? I just feel like more of a state, like a peace of mind, um, like more um, of a spiritual awakening, I guess. As you're looking at the numbers coming and going, you want to see what it is that is watching. So take a look. Where do the numbers come from? Where do they go? From what viewpoint is the watcher watching? 
can you at least see from what viewpoint or from what space or from where it is that it's watching? Take a look. Where do the numbers come from? Where do they go? What is watching? From what vantage point is it watching? High, low, middle, where? Are you sure there's something watching? But there is an awareness of it. What's aware of it? Okay, let's take a break. Let's have a little discussion now. Come on, now I'm sure you have some good answers now. Yes? Oh, see, the vantage point was right behind my nose. It's behind your nose. Oh, no, the vantage point was right behind my nose, yeah. As far as I could tell. Wait a minute. But what was watching that? I didn't. Uh, how do you know when you've answered that question? Well, that's why I asked her. I have an answer to that question. So at first, I was kind of, it was kind of like my head, my eyes at an angle, and the numbers were being generated this way. And then when I wanted to see who was watching the numbers, now that watcher stopped generating numbers, and it just became blackness. Pardon me, person. what was watching the blackness? Well, that's, that was the one that now could generate numbers. That first one couldn't uh, do it anymore. You mean the blackness generates the numbers? Did you no, see? I had to stop that blackness and say, okay, now where are the numbers? And then they came from that watcher. Uh, where did they come from? The second watcher. The second watcher. Yeah. So you have two watchers. Yeah, the first one was watching numbers, the second one's watching the watcher. Right. Yeah. Oh, and you were watching that. And I was watching them both. Yeah, third. But I wasn't doing numbers. Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have an infinite regress very quickly. Well. All right, look here, we need some more, some good answers. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Um, we were all watching, so I want to say it's a collective conscious. What, what? Know. We were all watching. How did you know you're all watching? Because you told us all to watch. <laughs> you didn't say every. I didn't. And so I want to say. No, no, she watched us. I want to see if we can just talk about your personal experience. Okay. No interpretation, whatever else anybody may or may not be doing. Right. Go ahead. So Let's I wanted to say collective conscious. It's a collective Ah, <laughs> help, help her. I just think it's like more internal self, like spiritual, instead of well, body. How, look here, how do you know it was internal? Yeah, because it feels like it's not body, like inside. Like. It's not the body. Oh, you were watching in their body? Yeah, it's not in my body. I felt like I wasn't in my body, I was in, what, in, the, in the mind. <laughs> yeah, that's likely or not. Oh, by the way, look here. Are you getting to the idea that uh, there is something, as it were, watching? Yeah. Are you saying it's different than the object? It's mm -hmm. part, I think it's part. That the watcher is watching? They're separate, is that correct? I don't know. No. Uh, I don't think they're separated. You don't think they're separated? No. Uh, how can we get them together? Because uh, one controls that, it's the higher 
Just Look here. If they are not separated, yeah. we're separated. then I guess, yeah. how would you explain that? <laughs> if they're not separated, then the number and the watcher are not separated. They're just one. Then the number would be watching you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't notice any eyes on my yeah, eyes. yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Thank you. They're united. Yes. Hold it. They're united. They're you, one, one. They're two. united. Yes. And Watch we can out. only infer who the watcher is, but. Oh, but we can only infer but, <laughs> but it ain't. But we know. No, you know, but you have to infer it. beautiful. But if you have to infer it, you don't know it. You're only inferring it. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Well, I found myself asking, what is number? Am I yeah. supposed to be seeing the symbols for number? Or am I supposed to be seeing all ones um, for the number? So I, I found myself asking, what is number? And well, how am I to see the symbols? Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, since Trump has become president, uh, He's asked us only to use Roman numerals, not Arabic. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I found my numbers. I found my numbers because of Okay. Wait a minute. Come on. We're, we're here. Is that what you're saying? Is that your experience? Now, I have a, a terrible question for you if this is what's true. We, we don't know who the watcher is, but we can infer that he's beautiful and good. But I don't want to infer that someone is beautiful if I don't know they're beautiful. I have to infer it. Yeah. Sure. Hey, watch now. If it is true in terms of your experience that this is what you are considering as par part and parcel of your experience, then would you not agree there must be something that's watching it? Yeah. And he's beautiful and good. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. Something watching the watcher watching the numbers? Well, I mean, if you're watching it, yeah. and they're different, then there must be something that knows their difference. Yeah. And that suggests <laughs> yet another. Watcher. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. The watcher, yeah. in my experience this time, the watcher generates the numbers. The, 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 the watcher is all there is, generating the numbers, seeing the numbers. Look, see, if you say the watcher is generating the numbers, mm -hmm. do you experience that? Literally, do you experience mm -hmm. that? It's more of a sharing. Or do you infer it? No, I, this time it was direct. This time there wasn't anything else. I mean, if you're seeing it, it then you know the process by which those numbers come out. Like, I They're <laughs> always there, even now? Uh, wait, 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 get back to it. Julie, did you experience that, or are you inferring it? Yeah, that's it. This time, the numbers and the watching were simultaneous. I was, there was no visual image of the numbers, no auditory. I want to agree Number. with you. That's why I'm called it's Pierre the Agreeable. The ground of everything. If, you, if yeah, I put, put my cool. attention that way, I was just counting one, two, three. I said that too. The watcher was doing that. The watcher was doing that. When the, I asked myself, the watcher is doing that? There just doesn't seem to be any difference between. If there isn't any difference, you're seeing two things that aren't different. Is that what's going on? Mm, I'm using the words of separation because you're asking us to ask what's watching, even by that question, you've got a two-ness. Well, well so there you, is... So that, you're stopping the exercise of, of one, two, three, four, 
You're stopping the exercise to ask what you're watching. Is the only, that's the only reason there's a separation. You're quite right. Let's otherwise, jump the watcher. Otherwise it would Let's just, drop it. Okay, would you agree? There is something aware of the numbers? I can see I'm in big, deep trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute, is there something aware of the numbers? Oh my gosh. There ha well, there has to be. Because how are you, how are you, how's it coming in? I thought the numbers had a life of their own. You did? Yeah. You mean they poop? <laughs> but they didn't eat anything, so. The only evidence we have is ourselves. <laughs> well, I found the numbers, I was doing a number with each exhale, and pretty soon the numbers said, this is too slow, I want to go faster, and then a bunch of numbers suddenly appeared, all the way to the end. How did you do that? And it was like, okay, I'm, and I went five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I, I got to ten really quick. Quick, and yeah. then I started again. What was doing that? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but the numbers just... Um, Here I am trying to get a good answer and I'm not getting it. Uh, I mean, I guess it was the watcher really being... Or drop the word watcher. How about just, are you aware of these things going on? Yeah. Barbara? Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't use the word watcher, you can say nonetheless, there is an awareness of? Yes, of yeah. the numbers going on. Yeah. 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 Because we're putting our focus there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The mind, exactly. you, know, you give us the direction to put our mind on a certain progression. See, when I gave you a direction, see, that, we can stop all this, problems. would you agree, the direction I gave you is eminently <laughs> rational. Rational in the sense that you're following one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, right? It follows rationally in sequence. Yeah. Do you ever, any of you ever make a mistake like you went one, two, three, four, eighteen, five, six, seven, three, five, eight? No? Well, you're following a rational method to explore something in your experience. Aren't we? Is there, um, is there something more about the process that makes it rational than the fact that it's one through 10 over and over again? Is there something more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're going there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. One more trip, and I'm going to ask you another set of questions. All right? Okay. Watch the numbers coming and going. See if you can see what's watching. And be a little more accurate this time in your observation. <laughs> No inference, you know, just... No inference. <laughs> Where did the numbers come from? Where did they go? What is watching? as you consider the numbers coming and going. You're becoming more attentive to your own experience.
what's watching? Okay, good, good. Now look here, I'm going to ask you one more thing to do. Notice, I'm going to now change the subject from numbers to an object. <coughs> All right. Now this is very difficult, but you'll likely be able to do it. Shall I do that again? I can do it again. <laughs> what are we supposed to be doing? Watching Pierre. Were watching. you watching? What? I fell into a gap. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm Look, doing. we're changing the. Hey, we're changing from numbers to an object. Me. Oh, okay. Watch. What do you see? Do you see me moving? I see your body moving. Yeah, I can do it again. I practice this at night so I could do it. Yeah. Same question. What is watching? What is seeing? What is hearing? What is thinking? Come on. the puzzle I'm introducing you to. Hey, if these crazy Greeks have a slogan that permeates their culture and it goes under the title, Know Thyself, what are they doing? You were just going through a little exercise to try to discover what it is that is <coughs> hearing, seeing, or thinking. How is it possible that they could take this crazy statement, which is from Xenophanes, Parmenides' teacher, and from that generate a whole dialectic, a whole dialogue called Plato's Parmenides? That's where we're going tomorrow. So you better be careful about coming tomorrow. <laughs> right? Because people may ask you, did you bring yourself along with you? Are you saying that the Xenophanes... That's Xenophanes. Are you saying that that's the answer? Only if you understand the question, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't remember there being a Xenophanes question, but we've got the question. No, what no. is that question? Do you want to tell her? Tell her what the answer is or the question? The question. Well, the question is right up there, right? Pardon me, you slipped out of it. Go ahead. I'm sorry, what did I slip out of? I, I can tell the, the quote. <laughs> hey. It's the whole of God. The tears. What if it turns out that this is not a question at all, but a statement? Right. That's what's doing it. What it yeah. is that sees here. Yeah, that's what's doing the seeing and hearing. <laughs> yeah, what, what does that mean? What? Thank you. Ta -da. Ta -da. Yes, and how can you get to the point where you, hey, in order to know what a thing is, do you have to know first why it is? Or can you know what it is independent of why it is? What comes first? Everything depends upon this question. What comes first? What or why? 
Why? Can you know what a thing is before you know why it is? Can you know what it is without knowing how it functions? Or can it be independent of its function that you know what it is? Huh. This is where we're going tomorrow. So let me warn you, yes. I was going to say, you're even having to ask that question by using the word what first. You have to have the question. Did you, uh, what was it like exploring it with the numbers? It's fun. What you want to say is there. Maybe, maybe the self isn't there during these exercises. It only comes in some mystical experience. Then it doesn't exist in our everyday world, and the heck with it. Yeah. Reject. Right? I don't know. I became pretty uh, tricky in that last exercise. I yeah. started like saying, I don't want to generate. And then, uh, but then they started to come out, and I started to reflect on a conversation I had about 10 minutes ago, and I started multitasking, and then, and then I generated a bunch of numbers and watch them. Catch up real fast. And catch up real fast, yeah. So I felt like I was kind of cheating, but I did the whole thing. Well, you're not going to cheat tomorrow, though. Oh, that's what a modern. I was busy. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Starting early. What time is it? It's only 9.30. It's time to go to bed. What time is it? 9.30. Well, was anyone who wants to stand around and talk for a while, please let's do so. But we'll be here early in the morning. Hold it. We'll have breakfast between 8 and 9, and then we'll start at 9, and we'll put a sign on the board that basically like 9 to 11, and then probably have lunch at 12 to 12.30, depending on how long it takes us to get it ready. And a break, and then probably, we'll put it up there for sure, 2 to 4. Talk to 2 to 4. Talk to 2 to 4. Break, probably dinner at 5.30. Um, <coughs> study <coughs> session. From seven to nine. Okay. And what about the betrayal of philosophy? Is that a, should we bring that article too? Yeah, well, certainly. But, I'll, but, I'll but you're the type of person who doesn't need it. You'll probably memorize it. Well, I haven't. If you have it, bring it. Okay. Yeah, okay. She, she's going to have extra copies. Right. For okay. Tomorrow. Okay. 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 We'll have extra copies for tomorrow. Okay. We'll have extra copies for tomorrow. Okay. We'll have extra copies. Okay, for both articles. This is the latest one. So, and by the way, if you get an insight into what's watching the numbers, don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> that was in honor of UCI.